that we have to care about our neighbors, even those way out in the sticks. We, we throw more than enough elbows at each other in this big tent of ours. I might have thrown a few myself in my day. Um, but Democrats come together in a moment like this one to lock arms and put up a fight that we can't afford to lose. We have a shared responsibility to remain focused on reclaiming the majority in the House and expanding our power in the Senate. But let's not allow too narrow a focus now to blind us to what we, mu to what we must do in the long term. From day one, Network Nova has centered the concept that Virginia is our district, all of Virginia, not just where the winds come easy. Since Royal Brown Game was founded in 2019 by Tim Kaine's 2018 staff, we have seen significant shifts in electoral margins when rural candidates receive real support. It has been so incredibly meaningful to have party leaders like Senator Kaine Representatives McClellan, Spanberger, and Connolly, many Democratic members of the General Assembly and new House Caucus leadership, who include more and more can rural candidates in the conversation. We recognize and truly appreciate the growing inclusion of rural people in our communities. We talk about the brand of our party being damaged in rural areas. Who's gonna fix that? When Democratic nominee Jade Harris talks to voters at their door about how as vice mayor of her small town, she used funds secured by Democrats in Congress to replace lead pipes. She makes the good work that Democrats do every day as real as the water people drink. In 2023, we have an incredible and very diverse slate of rural candidates across the Commonwealth who reflect the dedication of service at the heart of our party. Their reach into rural communities to do more than just deliver a message, to be present and listen to the stories of their neighbors is the exact same work that transforms the perception of, of, our, of Democrats in every zip code. We understand what is at stake and why the majority of resources will be invested elsewhere. But I ask each of you to advocate for a shift in the thinking and rhetoric within our party about who we include and which districts matter. The courageous, scrappy Democrats who stand up for black and trans lives at rural school board meetings, who put their name on a ballot, who send up a signal flare in the darkness for decency, deserve a whole lot more than a pat on the back and a bless your heart. <laughs> I invite you to get to know some rural candidates and organizers at our table in the advocacy fair and to support them in any way you can. I know I will be. Or please join us in the first breakout session for a solutions-focused conversation about the realities and many opportunities we have to make real progress in rural areas through the hard work and very stubborn relentlessness of rural Democrats like my friends and fellow presenters, Fennell, Roberta, and Dustin. We invite you to be a partner with us in this work, no matter where you live. Thank you.